John Zygusland spent January 16, 2015, tending his babies, that's what he called his marijuana plants. More than 70 of them were growing in a hydroponic system of his own design. Sometimes, he'd stay in his barn for 16 hours straight, perfecting his technique. That night, he left around 8 o'clock to head home. The moon was waning, down to a sliver, which left the sky as dark as the ridges that lined it. As he pulled away, the lights from his late model Kia swept across his childhood hollow and his parents' trailer, which stood just up the road from the barn. He turned onto West Virginia Route 65. Crossing Mingo County, he passed the Delburton Mine, where he had worked on and off for 14 years before his back gave out. Though John Z was billed like a linebacker, falling once from a coal truck and twice from end loaders had taken a toll. At 36, his discs were a mess and sciatica sometimes shot pain to his knees. Still, he managed to lift the buckets that held his plants. Friends sometimes helped. In another part of the barn, they had set up a man cave with a big screen TV and girly posters. When they weren't transplanting and trimming, they played video games and discussed their passion for cultivating pot. None of them had studied marijuana like John Z, but they all loved growing, seeing it not just as a hobby or a way to make a buck, but as an act of compassion.